All right, let's continue uh, pulling bullets. All right, um, this time it is uh, the much maligned kinetic hammer. Um, one modification I made was I took some duct tape, I flipped a piece inside, you know, so that the uh, adhesives are together so that uh, ball powders don't just, you know, spray out once the bullet drops, which I lost several grains due to that uh, before I decided to do this, and now it's all good. All right, um, biggest problem with these is especially pulling light bullets like these 55 grain, 223. These are actually oversized 225s with a light crimp, so yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, have your bullets are fine and all. The biggest thing I've found is the striking surface. Um, they say to use um, a piece of hardwood. Eh, as long as it's good and stable, I guess it'd be okay. But yeah, there'd be a little bit of um, uh, compression in that. Um, Cement floor sucks. Uh, it's just not dense enough. You think so, but it really doesn't do all that well. But the one thing it does over the bench is it doesn't move. Um, now my strike surface is an old piece of railroad track. Um, my dad had this laying around. Somewhere he's got one that's only about this long, but I can't find it. Uh, that would be much, much easier. This thing's like 21 inches long, but it's dense, it's heavy, it doesn't move, and it rocks a little bit. But Now, if I had a nice thick piece of plate steel that I could bolt down, I think that would work awesome. Now, I, th I throw this up on the bench. The bench you know, moves and gives a little bit much. It takes all the advantage away. I throw it on the concrete. Whole different story. Um, suddenly it shines. It takes a lot less wax to use this. Uh, of course, it's going to vary, but see how it goes. Now the camera's on. See if it, uh, you know, mocks me. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, six wax. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I was trying on concrete before, or a little piece of hardwood I had, or um, end grains of four by four. You talk a dozen or more usually. So, yeah, not bad. Ah, and. Tightening these puppies down good, you know. If you leave them a little bit loose, they don't work too well. Try another one. Yep, they're trying to demonetize reloading videos. Um, I can claim this is deloading, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what this one does. Okay. So pretty consistent. Uh, like I said, I used to smack the heck out of this thing. Thought I was going to break it on the um, concrete floor. Well, 10, 15, 20 wax sometimes because 55 grain bullets. And whoops. See what these. Um, like I said, uh, let's see. Come on. There's a light crimp in them. These are some of the early ones I did. Uh, even even doing um, JRB's light crimp method, where it's just it will. These are a little heavier than that, but it will deform. Um, you think you just tighten it up, 
just snug and it's deformed these are just you know the brass jackets are thin and light but they work <laughs> all right well hopefully that will help someone and uh, I'll see you sometime in the future God bless